Hey guys, welcome to Cattle and Crops. Hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, if you're watching this later, this was live streamed here on YouTube, and uh, I appreciate you coming by to check it out. This is my first time ever playing Cattle and Crops. I literally bought it like an hour ago. Um, so I don't really know what to expect. I don't know anything about the game. I haven't. W I've watched one video of it a long time ago. Um, I say a long time ago, six or eight months ago, I watched one video of it. It's probably probably about the time it released on Steam uh, for early access. And uh, before that was like two years ago, 2015. Uh, There's a streamer called Grateful uh, on Twitch that uh, was a farming simulator streamer. He's a great streamer too. He's a really entertaining guy, really nice guy. Had a great community and just kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened to him. I uh, wish he would come back, honestly. I miss, I kind of miss hanging out in the streams. He's a super nice guy. Had a great great community. Did multiplayer stuff. Um, but he was the first person I heard talking about this game. And this was like end of 2014 or 2015 or 2016. I can't remember. End of 2015, 2016 maybe. Um, but yeah, the game is made by a group of uh, farm sim modders, which is kind of cool, honestly. But yeah... Um, Grateful was talking about this for a while and he kept, he kept, yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to this. And then he kept delaying it and kept delaying it, kept delaying it. And then he kind of disappeared. So, um, I don't know what happened, but maybe he'll come back to streaming one day. Uh, but either way, I was, I was kind of looking forward to this game man, and then it released and I realized that it just didn't, didn't, it didn't really pique my interest that much. You know, I, I thought it was, it had been in development for so long. I was like, okay, I just give up on it. And yeah, I know I'm just rambling right now, but uh, this is kind of my thoughts about the game before I get started playing it. Like I said, I don't know anything about it. I literally loaded it up just to change the settings and stuff, and that was it. So uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to play it. I don't know what what you do. I don't I don't know anything about it. So thanks, I appreciate that. You like the hat, don't you? I know it's the hat. It's got to be the hat. <laughs> it's got to be the hat. I think I might move chat back over to the right side now. Dang it. Uh, either way, let's get into the game here, guys. If you, like I said, if you're watching this later, thank you for stopping by the channel. This is the first time I've played Cattle and Crops, so if I'm doing something stupid, just ignore it because I have no idea what's actually going on. Um, uh, map selection. Okay. Um, cows can't fly without the help of a tornado. That is very true. Um, Albergtal? Albergtal? Okay. Uh, I don't know... I don't know what the difference is. CNC tech demo. I probably just want this map, don't I? That's probably the one I want. Let's go with this one. Guys, how's it going? Gargoyle, Robert Moss, how's it going, man? Bob, what's up, buddy? Uh, Karain, how are you this morning? I saw Granny Sam in here earlier. Yeah, Granny Sam was in here earlier. Uh, there was a, one or two other people. I feel like I missed for some reason, but I don't know for sure. This thing not picking up audio? It might be. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, okay, so as far as I know, uh, Control does this. New mission available. Okay, you inherit the farm, including small starting vehicle fleet, bulls, some fields you have to take care of. Okay, uh, five to 15 minutes. Apparently this is a, it's just missions, like there's no free farming right now? Is that, is that, is that true? I don't, I don't know how true that is. Uh, Let's accept because I don't I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing at the moment. So <laughs> we'll just accept the mission. It looks like it's gonna freeze up on us right away. There we go. Okay. Hey, we're in the middle of the road. Let's get out of the road. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to move chat to the other side, aren't I? It'd probably be better off over here. Give me a second. Let me let me do that real quick. I didn't realize where the uh, I didn't realize where the actual um, menu was for this. It is indeed on the other side. There we go, and we should be good now. Oh yeah, absolutely, Bob. I know if she were here, she'd be happy about it. All right, so apparently I need to follow this road. Uh, what is this? Is this is this the same mission? It's our it's our mission that we're on at the moment. Task, okay. Map. Can I just fast travel? Is that a thing? No, I don't want to do that. Nope, I don't want to do that either.
Why does it got me going here? What am I going to get there? Looks like I've got stuff here. And not fast travel. It's like we're walking. All right. Well, let's get going. Actually, let me turn this off. Oh, we can keep moving while we're doing this. Cool. Uh, find the MB track. Okay. So we have to go find the tractor, apparently. Makes you run around for no reason. Is there a first person view? Oh, there is. Look at that. Very cool. Um, I gotta say, like the first person animation, I'm very happy that it doesn't default to a head bobbing situation. That annoys the crap out of me for some reason. I don't know why, it just does. I can hear our tractor from here. Getting louder. Getting much louder. Oh, look at the fountain. Pretty neat. So they they gave they gave us some detail for sure. What was that? Oh, it was saying that I found it. Okay. Yeah, they gave this they gave the world some detail. You got some logs laying out front. You got people walking down the sidewalk. You got uh, the trash bins, uh, waste bins outside, uh, graffiti, the whole nine. Like they they gave it some. They definitely gave it some. Uh... All right, drive to the vehicle trader. Oh, this thing's super loud. I like this thing, though. This is nice. Oh, there we go. Zoom out. Aha, okay. So can we actually turn on... Oh, okay. Uh, this is actually pretty neat. Let's see. There goes the window. Alright, this is actually pretty cool. Alright. Roll this one down. Oh, you actually have inventory slots, too. That's pretty neat. Okay. Hey, Dom, what's up, man? How's it going? Yeah, well, that's kind of me, man. I'm kind of, I'm curious. Am I just automatically going here? Is it because I'm in cruise? What's the, what's the cruise button? What does that do? Uh, rotate mirror. Oh, this is the mirrors. Okay. Uh, front, open skylight, rear wiper. It works too. Okay, that's pretty neat. Okay, so the wipers work. That's pretty sweet, guys. What does this do? Uh, toggle to terrain full wheel drive. Okay, and this is rotate right mirror. Uh, rotate right mirror vertically. Shouldn't that have an R on it instead of an L then? Rotate right mirror horizontally. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. There, there are two. There's a left and a right. So let's see. Uh huh. Well, I see a scroll mouse. No. Oh, I see. Okay, there are sliders. Okay. Hit it vertically now. So, if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm adjusting the mirror here with these little deals. This is pretty neat. Uh, I like the I like the adjustability they gave us. Um, just not sure about this. Toggle driving orientation vehicle must be stopped first. Okay, so let's see what that does. Oh. Oh. We're actually setting up on the steering wheel like you normally would be. That's pretty interesting. Oh no. Okay, we're turning around. That is sweet. All right, so it's going to take a minute to turn that back around. Sorry, guys. I know this is probably boring for some of you guys, but this is new to me. I want to see how all this works. Uh, the amount of menus and stuff they put in this game is just crazy. It's really good. And back around we go. I just feel like there's too many menus on the screen. You know what I mean? Like, there's no... 
Uh, all right, how do we start the engine now? Or left. Oh, is this is this the actual connections on the front and rear? It is. Okay, cool. Uh, how do we how do we start the engine? Number pad plus to shift gear up, shift gear down, left mouse button. Uh, we're gonna have to change those because I cannot do any of that because I have hotkeys set up there. I think. Maybe not. Maybe not on the plus. Okay. I'm gonna have to put it. I'm gonna have to. If I'm gonna play this, I'm gonna have to put all this on the stream deck though. Right, where is the engine start? Attach, detach. Okay, raise and lower. All this seems to be pretty enabled. Disable. Yep. All this seems to be pretty close to farming, uh, farming simulator, which is nice. Uh, rotate, unload. Okay, cool. Indicator left, indicator right. Uh, one and three. Two is flashers. Uh, six is light around. Okay. Indoor lights number nine. Cruise control is T. Uh, autopilot to next waypoint is N. Uh, run full throttle. Activate mouse cursor. Uh, did I miss how to turn the engine on? Kind of FPS am I getting? Uh, about 45. No, 50. 50 to 55. Yeah. I think 35 to 55. I'm running on Ultra too, so... Like I could turn settings down probably. Not all of the tractor use your lunchbox for screws. Okay, am I missing seriously where to uh where to turn this guy on? Like how to start the engine? Anybody see it and I'm just missing it here? Oh, toggle engine right there. Okay. Oh. That's such a weird spot to have that. Let's get rid of the key binds. Let's hit endless autopilot to next checkpoint. Nope, W didn't do it. Hey, Jeremy, what's going on, man? Yeah, W didn't do it. It's it's O, I guess. Once you turn the tractor off, game's over. <laughs> uh, what I do like is you can autopilot to next checkpoint. That's pretty neat. Okay, so there, there's a... There seems to be a few good things about this game that I do like. Uh, I can see where they would have um, have some luck with this game, honestly. Uh, I feel like it needs a lot of work. But... Attached the Verdi mixer. Okay. We'll take over from here. Thank you. This game was not designed with people that use keyboards in mind. We suck at guessing. Yes, we do. <laughs> Alright, so this thing is automatic. I'm not touching the keyboard right now. This thing is automatically taking me to the next waypoint, I guess. Not real sure what's going on here. Oh, no, it's not either. Okay. Take me to the next waypoint. Okay, let's get out on the road, and then you can take me to the next waypoint. Take me. Take me places. There we go. Sir, you did not yield for traffic there. There's nothing coming. I guess that doesn't matter. Hey, Angelie, how's it going? So, again, I'm just trying to soak all this in because I don't... Uh, I don't I don't understand most of this so let's go back in cab here the windows are up or down I think that's down right oh oh that's raising in the right mirror oh crap okay let's 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 put that back where we had it then put that back these are the windows so we're gonna want the windows up Oh, that was a door. Close the door. 
Oh, that was letting the windows down. Okay. We'll let the windows down, no problem. Back from work? Nice. Good deal. Everybody likes to be off work. Let's see. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Nice one. There's a radio in here. A CB radio. The interiors look good. I like the tractor itself. I wish I could get rid of that big menu on that side over there. And I know chat's kind of running into my menu on this side over here. But What does this do? Oh, this is my attachment. Okay, I see. Uh, raise and lower. Okay, now what? That. Emission available. Okay. That was easy enough. It smells, but we need it. Spreading slurry is a staple of... Uh, staple VT 18,000. Okay. Uh, except... I guess. I, I didn't realize I was just... I thought this was like... I thought you could do free farming in this. Lone Oak update? Cool. <laughs> what does this button do? <laughs> All right, so I guess we get out of this guy. Turn the engine off, I guess. New mission available. Did Ed didn't already click on this. Okay, yeah. Let's exit out of that. Is all this stuff. Can you open and close any of this? I get out of first person there. So the quality looks pretty. Oh, it's auto. It's auto doors. Okay. The quality of this stuff looks pretty good. Let's check out the tractor. Uh, it does look a lot like farm sim uh, textures. Uh, it's very obvious that the modders are the ones that made it. All right. Drive to the sewage plant. Okay. In. How's the update? Oh, wait a minute. Do I need the, do I need the bucket? Uh, this doesn't seem to have a front loader attachment, so probably not. Um, so, so far, I've had to drive nowhere. I get in, I push a couple of buttons, and it takes me there. So, uh, I'm not really going to complain about that, to be honest. Let's check the, the class. Um, interior here. This is pretty nice. Oh! Okay, so this is this is one thing I do like. You can't turn your head all the way around, right? You can only turn so far. And if you look at the seat as we're turning, watch how it pushes my, my view over to the right and then pushes my view over to the left. Right? So that, that indicates that you're actually turning your body because your, your view changes. If you turn to look behind you, your view's going to change slightly because you're turning your body a little bit because your neck doesn't just turn like this. Right? Your neck doesn't just turn backwards like that. Wait, it's not supposed to, I guess, but. So I gotta say, this has piqued my interest. Now, once we get all the all the mission stuff done, do we get to free farm, or is that out yet? I don't I don't know. I haven't looked anything into the game. Uh, I just know that this was supposed to be a game that that rivaled Farming Simulator, and it's been in development for like three or four years now. So. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, yeah. This this gives the effect of you actually turning your body. See, I'm moving away from the seat there. 
Like, that's pretty neat to me. That's, you know, that's really cool, actually. Uh, I'm okay with that. Drive to the sewage plant. Oh, I remember watching, uh, who was it? Uh, Chapman? Uh, what's his name? The Chapman guy. What's his, what's his name? Yeah, what am, what am I doing here? Looks like I gotta hook up to that thing. This thing, stop trying to make me drive over there. I don't wanna drive over there. Arthur Chapman. Yeah. I was watching him play this. I remember watching him do this mission. All that American Truck Simulator is really paying off, I just gotta say. Alright. Uh, it's something in Google that you have to do, Angeli, I'm pretty sure. Google profile pic, there you go. I have to turn this thing off. What's the deal? Okay. Select fill type. Good. So on the back of it? Maybe I have to back up to it. I don't know. So there's a really low frequency there that sounds like uh, kind of a booming thing, and I think that maybe, well, we actually have to get out and fill this thing up, don't we? I bet we have to get out and do this by hand. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that sound is anyway, and I think I know what it might be. I think it might be the tread on the tires. Okay, do we have to physically grab this and fill it up? Look at those arms. Hey. Sorry, this is really funny. Okay, not that one. Uh No. I feel like I have to physically hook this hose up somehow. And I also feel like I need to change my field of view. Can I do that? My FOV is too tight, like it's it's right on top of everything. Use an interface scale. Let's scale that back just a slight bit there. Uh, ocean blur off, good. Glow and bloom can go as well. Uh, the rest of that I'm okay with. Uh, I just want view distance. Okay, view distance is fine. I want field of view. The V-Sync on just because I run it on on most everything. Um, gameplay? Build of view? Build of view. There we go. First person. Oh my god. No wonder it's in uh, like 50. Build of view of the chase camera. I run everything at at least 90. Sometimes higher depending on what I want. Save. Okay. Continue. Ah, oh, that's better. It doesn't feel like we're looking down a tunnel. Okay, how do I work this rig? Uh. Go up here? Oh, you can't get in on the passenger side either. You have to go around to the driver's side. Isn't that something? I feel like this game is almost too clever for me.
Oh, wait a minute. I saw it. Okay. There. There. Oh, nope. That was, that was backwards. Open that up. No? It's not this? Okay. Come on, get off the tractor, dummy. Wait a minute, do I click it? No. I don't I don't know what to do then, because it's not We like the tractor. Why isn't this working? See, this is this is why I wanted to uh, stream this instead of making a video on it. That way you could see all the uh, stupidity that, that goes along with it. Do I have to turn the tractor off, maybe? How this? Yeah, right, Gorgol? Okay, that's closing, I'm pretty sure. That's opening. Okay. Unhitch something there. I can do something up here. What is this? Door. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey, you know what? Let's let's get in and let's do the let's do the thing here. Um, attach, detach, raise and lower. Uh oh, I want to leave that off. Uh, extruder collapse, rotate, hazard lights, indicator light, floodlight, flashlight, uh, autopilot, cruise control, toggle gear, downshift, shift, uh, shift up. Next vehicle, run full throttle, vertical look, horizontal look. Uh, left, right, backwards, activate cursor. Hmm. Yeah, Latanya, that's what I'm, that's what I'm having trouble with. Like, there's no indicator for me to pick it up, as you can see there. So I can't, uh, I don't know if I'm not pulled far enough forward or if I'm pulled too far forward. I really don't know. Let's... There's no circles over here to grab anything. I'm grabbing that, it's just not moving. Yeah, this this might be why we haven't heard anything else about the game. Nobody really plays it anymore. Uh hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're trying to say either. Buy slurry at sewage plant. Okay. This is where I need to buy it at. I'm gonna go somewhere else to ask for it? I don't I don't get it. Oh, hey, hey, there we go. You had to select your type. My goodness, how cumbersome that is. I feel like they almost tried to make this game too intuitive, if that makes sense. Yeah, that was definitely a dull moment for sure. So I, th I feel like they tried to make it way too intuitive. I feel like they tried to make it um, 
No collision on that. Oh, we just missed it. Okay, good. Uh, I feel like they made, tried to make it so interactive that it's actually cumbersome to use now. Like, I don't, I don't know. That's just kind of my feeling so far. Because this game is it's very cumbersome so far. Control, you have to do all this extra stuff here. Uh, let's get rid of all this. See, now we can hit I, and we can just use the, uh, uh, raise and lower, all that kind of stuff, so, so we can unfold, raise, lower, and enable. So we don't have to go over here and physically click these menus unless we want to. I think we can do it all from, from just the keyboard. Maybe I'm wrong. There's a sign there, buddy. Oh, there's no collision on the signs. Come on now. Uh, yeah, maybe we cannot do that. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Well, that was just stupid. Is that unfolded? Yeah, and that turns it on. Yeah, okay. Oh, V actually lowered it down, though. Okay. V lowers it down. Oh, man, that mouse sensitivity is off the charts. All right, this is probably going to take a minute. I'm assuming they're going to want you to do the whole field, or most of it, if it is anything like Farming Simulator. Or do most of the field here. Crane, thank you for that loot, by the way. I missed that while ago because I was fighting with everything. Um... So, B? Cruise. Am I actually doing anything? I guess it just doesn't look like it, maybe? Turn the old cruise control on so we can turn this puppy around. Yeah, it's just very, very minimal on the field there. Okay. How many fields do I own? I have no idea. Right now it's just missions, and I don't know if that's because... Uh, ah, crap. It's doing that thing again. Just a second. Just a second. We're, we're getting there. There we go. Uh, yeah, right now we're just doing missions to kind of get going on the game, I guess. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a tutorial or what, but if this is all that's offered, boy, did I waste $30 because this is terrible. If it's just missions and there's no actual free play, I can't go buy stuff and do things. Uh, it feels like a tutorial with no info. That's what it feels like, yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping that's what it is because if not, I just blew 30 bucks and I, I'll never play this game again and I will definitely go give it a negative review. <laughs> That'll definitely happen. But this is all I get for 30 bucks right now, and it's been out for uh, six, almost six months now on Steam as early access, and there's no more content than this, because all the YouTubers I've seen, they're doing this mission right here. So. But I mean, I want to believe this game's going to be good. Because it's definitely got a different feel, but the same feel as Farming Simulator. So it's different, but the same. It feels familiar. But it's it's just different enough to make me want to play it more. Can you hire people? Apparently, you're supposed to be able to. But again, I don't know what they've actually implemented in the game yet. So... Again, I didn't look at I didn't look at any of the, the details, the update info, nothing on this. I just wanted to play it because I've been sitting here looking at it, going, you know what, man? It's about time I give this a shot. So we're just giving it a shot. That's all we're doing. We're not uh, 
we're not we're not giving this um, the benefit of the doubt we're actually going to play it and make our judgment on that I don't want to uh, give something credit that doesn't deserve it and so far I'm not not real happy about my purchase so excuse me trees there's no hitbox or anything anyway so I guess it doesn't matter Hey, Dark, what's up, man? Sorry, man, I didn't even see that earlier. Yeah, so far I'm not r super impressed with this game. So, uh, maybe we'll get into some free play and maybe that'll make a difference. I doubt it, but <laughs> I, know my, I know my attitude for it so far is pretty poor. Uh, but, to be fair, it's not, uh, it's not drawing me in, you know what I mean? Like, why not just let me go why, why make me go through all this do I have to do all this to get the farm or to get the equipment or whatever I don't understand I have no idea five likes how'd that happen I don't know I appreciate you guys liking the video though oh and let me let me just make this real clear real quick if you don't like the game I'm playing let me know in the comments. Don't dislike the video because disliking the video tells me that you don't like the quality of the content or you don't like my channel or something like that. If you dislike it, leave a comment and go, I don't like this game. That way I know that you don't like the game and it's not just, you know, the quality or whatever else. When you leave dislikes on a video, leave it being critical of the content itself, not the, the game somebody's playing. Or at least let them know in the comments. Not... Not that I feel like I deserve it, but I'm asking nicely, right? I don't think I deserve an explanation. But if you don't like the quality of the content, then that's one thing. But I feel like some of the dislikes on my videos are just disliking the game that I'm playing, right? If you don't like the game, don't watch it. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, that's pretty simple. Leaving dislikes when you just don't like the game, but you like my channel and like the other content I do, the content that I do hurts my channel overall. Or if you're going to do that, at least leave a comment and let me know, right? A Super Bowl. Yeah, I guess you would, wouldn't you? But yeah, that, that's one thing that I've seen a lot recently is like one dislike on a couple of different games that I'm playing. And it's like, okay, you obviously don't like the game because the quality is... is pretty good everybody else seems to like the content so it's somebody not liking the game that I'm playing if that be the case leave a content I mean leave a comment and and I've always said that if you're gonna leave a, a dislike on a video you should be forced to leave a comment with it you should be forced to say something about why you dislike the video because it helps content creators out it helps people to, to leave a dislike on their channel and leave a comment and let them know why you dislike the, like the content right or dislike the game or whatever else it helps them out, and it should be a thing. If you're going to leave a dislike, you should have to leave a comment with it. Sorry, but that's the way I feel about it. Mainly because dislikes are constructive criticism, but when you don't know what that is, then it's hard to, you know, it's hard to base a judgment uh, on, on just a thumbs down, right? You can't go, okay, well, what did, you not, what did this person not like about the video? What can I do to get them back and go, look, I did, I ma I did better. You know, what can I do to fix it? I can't because I don't know what it is. I don't know why they dislike the video. Oh, and you know what? I think I'm saying, you don't have to like the games I'm playing. You can leave a dislike on it if you don't like the game and then leave a comment and tell me, hey, I don't like the game. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I'm saying is if you're going to thumbs down somebody's video, not just mine, anybody's, 
if you're gonna give somebody a thumbs down on the video, at least give them the 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 just a, a basic level of respect for a content creator and go, hey, this, this, and this needs to be worked on. I think this was a little off, this and that, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's a, should be a, ba there's a basic level of human respect between people, right? Other than that, you have to earn respect, I feel like. I don't just give respect. But there's a basic level of human decency and respect for everybody. And I feel the same way for content creators. There's a basic level of respect for, for other content creators, I feel like, because they're, they're working, they're trying their best, but that doesn't mean I have to give respect to everything they do, right? If I have criticisms, I'm going to let them know the criticisms, so. And I, I, feel, like, I feel like a comment is, is uh, what's, how do you say it? Um, uh, constructive criticism. Like, I feel like leaving a comment would be constructive where leaving a thumbs down just leaves people wondering, you know, well, what did they not like about the video? What can I do better next time? And I realize one dislike for most of my videos is fine because most of them have over five. Yeah, how's somebody supposed to improve? They have no direction, right? And, and leaving a comment on the videos is is a really, really good thing. Disable the implement, okay? Lapse the implement. There we go. But yeah, that that's something that... that I've only said once before, I think, but that's something that I feel like should be mandatory if you're going to leave dislikes on somebody's content. You should be forced to leave a comment and let them know why you dislike the video. Even if you don't really tell them why. Even if you just put a dot and hit enter. You know what I mean? Like, it gives you it gives you the ability to then air your grievances and, grievances and go, okay, this is why, you know? That way somebody can go, okay, they just didn't like the game. Well, that's fine, you know? Or, you know, hey, the quality's bad, or the content's bad, or whatever else. I don't know, I just feel like there's a whole different level of, of help that you can give a content creator by doing stuff like that. Alright, we're, we're gonna let the AI take us home. Because we can. So apparently there is an AI in the game where you hit in, and it drives your, your GPS route for you. Which is kind of neat, because it's actually driving on the right side of the road, it makes the appropriate turns. Uh, you don't have to sit there and drive the entire time, which I think kind of defeats the purpose, but, you know, it's just me. Screenshot. But yeah, Granny Sam, that wasn't, that wasn't directed at you. It was more that made me remember something that I've been meaning to say for a couple of days now. Like, a couple of days now, I've been thinking about that, and I've been going, well, you know, why, why do people just hit the thumbs down button? Why don't they tell you what they don't like about the video? Because people don't want to be criticized in the comments for it. If somebody leaves the negative comment on one of my videos, I don't want anybody, anybody, jumping on them about, you know, what their comment was. Because constructive criticism is always appreciated around here. Always. Yeah, pretty much, Corrine. That's what it seems like. Like, I just hit it. I'm not touching anything right now. Mouse, keyboard, nothing. I'm just driving and talking. Or, I'm watching and talking, I guess. Like, this guy's doing everything. Running through signs that have no collision on them. You know, the whole nine yards here. Uh, overall, I mean... So far, the implement feels pretty good. The, the one that I did get to use tractors, the steering, all that feels pretty good on it. Everything seems to respond really well. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with any of that. I just hope this isn't the, the total of the content. It's just a few missions, so. But yeah, I'm just kind of sitting here looking at it. That's all I'm doing. And you can turn the, uh, the AI driver, the AI driver on and off at any time. I bet he goes through this fence. Uh, a little bit, yeah. So we're going to turn him off right there and we're going to finish this route ourselves here. Alright, we have 27 minute, uh, minutes to complete this mission. Okay. Fill type. Liquid slurry. Fill. Okay. Hmm. It's weird. Time in the US right now, it is 11.15 AM. Uh, for me anyway. 
Uh, for some other people in here, it's probably like uh, 12 p.m. Uh, if you're on the West Coast, it would be what? Uh, two hours behind, so it would be 9 a.m. 9.20 a.m. All right, complete the mission. I wonder if I hit in right here, what'll happen? Oh, well, that's just... That's just real awkward. So I let the AI drive, and that's what he did. Uh, that could have been really bad. He could have run us over into that thing. I guess he got confused on where he was going. Try that again. Nope. Okay. Now let's see if he goes. There we go. Oh, it's early? Yep. Yep. I try to start my streams around 10.30 a.m. Uh, on YouTube. We'll give this game a thumbs up. It sucks. <laughs> uh, I mean, like I said, you can give it a thumbs down. But let me know why. It helps me out. Like, I, I hate seeing thumbs down. One thumbs down to three thumbs up on a video that ends up getting like 10 or 11 likes. And I'm going, okay, why did the one person dislike it? Did they not like the game? Because I don't, that doesn't really matter to me. If you don't like the game I'm playing, I, I hate to sound blunt, but I really don't care. Because I'm not a YouTuber that plays games for views. I'm a YouTuber that plays games for what I enjoy. So, you know what I mean? Like... I don't want it to sound blunt or rude or anything, but if you don't like the game, I don't care. You know, I mean, you can you can come back on the game you do like and watch, or you can stay and watch it even if you don't like it because you like supporting me. You know what I mean? Like that's that's awesome. Um, but if you don't like it, you know, sorry, <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that. Really, I can't I can't please everybody. So um, I feel like I feel like playing stuff that I enjoy makes the content better because. I actually enjoy it versus being forced to play something that gets views right and I was gonna do farmers dynasty today and I was like no I said I was gonna save that for Mondays and do one once a week kind of deal and uh, I just really couldn't figure out what I wanted to play this morning and I thought man let's give cattle and crops a try that sounds like a good idea so um, here we are <laughs> oh fertilized field three we've already done all this hadn't we Oh, we still have to finish this up. Okay. Got it. Complete mission. So it didn't give us credit for finishing that out. So. Uh, we got somewhere down through here, I think. Is that it? And the sun is doing weird shadows now, so I can't really tell. I guess it's right here. Seems like it'd be right here. Yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, this is it. Okay, good. I was about to say, I feel like this is pretty close. Yeah, the sun throwing a shadow right there behind it is not beneficial because you can't really tell what you're spraying. But, I guess it works. To an extent. No, it doesn't. Look over there. See all that I missed right there? That didn't work at all. So that means I actually stopped right there. We'll come back and get that if we have to, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys don't take any offense to, to what I'm saying. It's, it's me giving constructive criticism for being a, a good a good viewer. You know what I mean? It's like I when I go watch videos, if I dislike it, I typically leave a comment and go, okay, this is this is not you know, this is not I don't like this video. Or I don't like whatever this is. So I just don't want guys to tell you I don't want you guys to take offense to that. So if you do, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's, you know I I can't make everybody happy. Nor will I try to, because then my content quality will decrease because I'm only trying to please a certain group of people that are being negative, so.
But yeah, I've been thinking about that for a while, and uh, I, f I feel better about getting it off my chest now. So. Now you guys know what I think about while I'm not on here. I look at stuff and I go, why don't people just, you know, do this or that, or what can I do to make this better? I don't know, you know? Hey, you don't even have to hit the like button if you don't like the game. That's fine. You know what I mean? And I always tell you, if you enjoyed the video or if you enjoyed the game, leave a like. And what I mean by that is, if you don't like the game, and it wasn't really that entertaining, but you're still here supporting me by, le by being a viewer, you don't have to hit the like button. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I mean by that. You don't have to hit the like button. If you, if you truly didn't enjoy the game and it didn't really interest you enough to, to, to care, you know, then you don't have to hit the like button. You don't have to do anything. I know, I know, Karain. I know. And I do appreciate it. But I don't I don't expect you to dislike a game that I'm playing and still like it for some reason. You know what I mean? Like that's that's not what I'm that's not what I'm meaning. Yeah, there's gotta be headlights somewhere. Where are the headlights? Uh hey, flashers. What is this? Drive to the sewage plant. Okay. Uh, light K and L. Okay. Work light. Oh, there's a work light there. That's sweet. Am I going over the same spot I just went over? I am. Oh, we're done. Okay. Hold all this up then. Let's get rid of that. And drive to the plant. Hey, there's a road right over here we can take. We're going to cheat. We're going to go across the grass a bit. <laughs> Poop jokes are not my favorite, but they're a solid number two. I like that one. That's good. All right, now let's hit in and catch a ride back to the slurry plant. We're going to get away from that noise a little bit there. That is super loud for some reason, so... It's dark. Yes, it is. Hey, Nick, what's going on, man? I hope you're doing well. No, I was just talking about the... the. So, I normally don't get many dislikes on my videos. Even even the ones that have uh, a large quantity of views. Like, I've got a couple, the Farmer's Dynasty video, the farm, a couple of Farming Simulator videos have over uh, 5,000 views on them. And compared to the likes and the amount of views, they have very few dislikes, right? I and mean, one's got, like, 50-something uh, likes versus nine dislikes or something. And I'm okay with that. But... I wish the nine people that disliked it would let me know why. You know, that's that's all I'm saying. I just wish that, that people would leave constructive criticism on channels instead of just hitting the hitting the thumbs down and then, you know, taking off. Because that, that doesn't that doesn't help me improve my content. And I want to. I want to improve my content for you guys. So Welcome to the Schmidt house. Absolutely. Alright, we're taking over a uh sorry, get out of here. That was does in first person at night time. Mills, but we need it. Progress 100%. 37 minutes. Uh, send send mission data to server. Okay. All right. Um, lots of XP received. Purchase. Oh, okay. So, are these new missions? What am I supposed to be doing now? Uh, preparing is everything. Uh, preparation is everything. So. Cultivation. Okay, so let's do this one. There we go. Subsistence is too bloody for you. <laughs> it's it can be a bit bloody. It can be not bloody though. I guess. All right. So uh, I guess I'm getting back in this guy. Oh, okay, I see what it is. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. What is all this? 15 XP driven... Okay, kilometers... Okay, so I guess I can get rid of all this. 
It's just telling me all the stuff I've done. That's a completed mission. That is XP that I've received, and that's a completed mission. So this is this is a mission I'm on. Yes. Okay. So let's get rid of that for a minute. Let's hop in this guy. And oh, look at the steering wheel. That's pretty sweet. Uh, drive to the farm. All right. Drive to the farm. It is. And we can even use the AI driver to drive us to the farm at nighttime. I'm not sure I like the, the lighting quality. I do like the ability to adjust mirrors and stuff. That's really neat. That's one thing that I do really like is the, the control menu hold control down and you can you can move your mirrors and stuff around that's really cool yeah the AI driver is nice too I, like I'm not I'm not touching anything right now he's going full bore just wide open and uh, we're headed to the farm at least you don't have to sleep and eat I don't mind it honestly I don't mind the the having to the the the, the slight slightly more realism not not terribly but slightly more realism of having to go home and get some sleep and eat something throughout the day and that kind of stuff. I don't mind that kind of stuff. Eat, sleep, save. Yeah, I mean that's. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind that that aspect of it. It's actually not bad, to me anyway. What is my favorite farming sim? Uh, farming Simulator 17 or Farming Simulator period, giant software, honestly. Um, I like Farmer's Dynasty, I like the idea of it. I think they may have rushed putting it out. I think they should have held on to it a little longer and not, not released it in early access. Just kind of my opinion. I don't think they could have avoided the DMCA stuff with it. But I think that they should have held it a little bit longer and had a little bit more content when they released it because I feel like everybody was expecting so much more on full release than they're going to get. But what do you do? You know, what do you do? Uh, farming Simulator. That's my favorite. So. What's the point of playing a farm sim when you make it arcade? I don't know, man. I don't know either. Like, I don't get it. Oh. Oh. Why'd you start back up? Alright, what vehicle am I supposed to be using? Oh, attach the cultivator. I'm supposed to be using this one. Okay. Must need to attach the cultivator wherever it's at. Oh, it's really dark. Jeez, can I skip night? Oh, I can. Hang on a minute, guys. Watch this. Boom. Done. Where's the cultivator? What is this guy doing? My AI driver's still on? He is. Get, get out of here, man. We both cannot be in the cab driving at the same time. It doesn't work like that. Cultivator is around here somewhere. Is it right here behind me? I think it was. Let's go see. That's it. Okay, cool. So, doors are auto. We just back up to it. Uh, let's try this. Oh yeah, I like Farmer's Dynasty. I like it a lot. I just feel like there, are, there are like I love the concept behind it. I feel like there are some things they should have and could still do differently. Cool. Drive to field thirteen. Okay, wherever field thirteen is. How does this thing feel like it doesn't want to turn now? It's like the implement on the back just made it so that it didn't turn at all. I don't know where field 13 is, but we're gonna we're gonna let this guy do the driving. We're just gonna coast along here.
And see, this this even feels still kind of arcadey feeling, you know, like. And I know there's there's a lot more dynamic in this game. I know that the, like when the ground's wet, you'll get stuck in the mud. I know I know that all that exists. Um, but it still feels kind of arcadey to me. Oh, we're here. Okay. All right. Uh, drive to the field. And lower the cultivator. Wow, that was weird. Cultivate the first track. Oh, look at that. Okay, see, now we get some actual ground response out of this. So, how do we put this... There's a full drive somewhere, I'm almost positive of it. Look at that. Okay, so now we get some ground response and some tire slippage. Yeah, look at that. Look at the tires digging into the dirt there. That's pretty neat. Alright, there's a full drive somewhere. Let's find it. Uh A grid gear, autopilot, light, indoor cam, indicators, handbrake, engine horn. Uh, I was pretty sure there was. I may be wrong about that. Full throttle next vehicle, shift up, shift, shift down. Uh, maybe there's not. Maybe I just have to deal with it. Oh, you know what? No, it's on the other menu. It's on the other menu. You like the truck driving better? Yeah, I know a lot of people like the uh, the truck driving better. Is there a diff lock or something on here? What is this? Open and close rooftop. That's the front hydraulic arm. Steering console. What is this one? Uh, rear window. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, see, that's much better there. Toggle the full drive on a little bit. Still slipping and sliding in the mud. So many menus. Yeah, there really is. I, f I feel like... Um, I feel like for the diehard farm sim fans... What am I getting stuck on here? So if you drive back over it, it does away with it, it leaves tire marks. That's pretty neat. Why is it telling me to go back down here? I don't understand. Did I just do that for for no reason? And the sound is awful, by the way. Aha! Okay, so I did that wrong, I guess. What is this telling me to do? Oh, it's checkpoints. Okay. So wh why did that not? Uh, why did that not work the first time there? And now I don't know which way is on or off. Because my tractor is just sliding around on both of them. But you understand it's muddy. It's a field. 
But with diff lock and stuff on, it should be a little more controllable, and it's not. I think it's just as bad with it on or off. Okay, raise the cultivator. And then go this path. Alright, so it's going to make me do each line at a time as it wants me to. So this has got to be a tutorial. Like, I, I feel like if this is not a tutorial, then this is the dumbest game ever. <laughs> Look at this. Like, I can't even go. There's got to be something I'm missing somewhere. Hang on a minute. Let's see. Yeah, I see nothing about uh, uh, any kind of diff locks or full drive or anything over here. The only thing we get is this menu on this side uh, behind the chat here. This is toggle drivetrain, full wheel drive. Open attachment up or down. Steering console. Yeah, that's all I get. And then I can just disconnect it. I'm guessing this is full wheel drive off. It's full wheel drive on. Hire a worker. All right. How do I hire a worker? Is it just toggle AI? Is that the deal? Because if I do that, he's probably going to jump out on the road and try to drive somewhere or something. Uh, toggle engine. Toggle gear. Okay, let's try that. Let's toggle gear real quick and see what happens. I feel like I shouldn't be sliding around that much. Like I watch, this tractor's plenty heavy enough. I watch tractors cultivate in muddy fields all the time. This is not... This is not even muddy. It's, it's bright and sunny outside. Yeah, I don't even know how to hire a worker, to be quite honest. Oh, that was weird. Okay, it's like it just straightened up all of a sudden. Cultivate the field. Alright, so it wanted to show me the first two. Now I can just go at it here, I guess. Or try to, rather. So now, look, it's pulling pretty smooth. See, now I don't understand. I don't get it now. It's so weird. Okay. Take that back. It's on that end. Maybe it's just this end of the field. Maybe it's because it's uphill. I just can't tell it. Yeah, it looks like that's downhill. This is going uphill slightly. There's a slight uphill grade on this end. Maybe that's what it is. We're going to go with that anyway. Wait and see if it gets a full release. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I may, I may have waited, except for the fact that I, I've really been wanting to try it out. And for thirty bucks, I've bought a lot of games for thirty dollars that were not worth thirty dollars. So I was like, I'll give it a shot because at one time this is a hyped game and it's still got a chance. Uh, and I think it's still got a chance, but they're going to need to fix a lot of stuff in it.
Like the full drive and diff lock obviously does not work. So. If I was in two wheel drive, I would expect this. And apparently I am in two wheel drive. So let's let's try this again. Nope, that's two wheel drive. Okay. Yeah, that's see that's that's not full wheel drive. That's still two wheel drive. Front wheels are not even trying. A time limit go faster? I can't. I can't go any faster. It's the four wheel drive doesn't work. I mean, it's it's a uh, see. Now this is easy, right? For some reason, and then you get in the middle, you kind of slide around. That's understandable. You it's going to kind of pull you around a little bit. I get that. Um, maybe not to the extreme that this is showing, unless you're using a, a plow or a cultivator that's three times the size of the tractor you're on. Um, but the whole slipping and sliding when you get to the end of the field thing, I don't understand that. Right? It's like you're trying to climb a hill to come out of it. And that just doesn't make sense to me because, I mean, normally fields are pretty flat to where you're, uh, where you're at here. So, but yeah, I could see this taking forever, honestly. Um, with stuff not working properly, like look at look at that. It was a, like a some kind of graphical thing in the middle of the field there where the cultivator jumped and there's nothing there there's no rock there's no nothing you know like I like the idea of the 3d terrain but at the same time it it's hmm I don't know like this why 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 is this happening right here this is a really heavy tractor in full drive, and it hasn't rained. The field doesn't look muddy. Why is it acting like I'm stuck in mud? I don't. I don't understand. And yes, the game is in early access. Blah blah blah. I know. I'm. I'm usually the one that says that. Game's still in early access. Give them a chance. This game's been in development for five years now, so or four years now, whatever it's been. It's been in development for a long time. It's acting like it's up. Yeah. See, if you look at it from here, the field does kick up on each end. Right, so right in the middle, um, I, this is flat where I'm at right now, so I shouldn't be having this issue. The tires are just spinning, right? Look at that tire. It's just spinning. It's not touching anything. And even even still, with the, with the cultivator behind it, the tractor that's pulling that cultivator, this tractor and this cultivator, this thing has plenty of power, plenty of weight. It's plenty heavy enough to get this done, right? It's like it just doesn't And again, if the field was wet, if it had just rained, if there was some sort of gloss on the field to show that it's muddy, I would understand a little bit of this. But to this extent, this is kind of... eh. <laughs> so I'm glad I got the game now. This may be something we check back in and do ever so often. This is not going to be a regular game that I play, though. Not right now. Um, because of this right here, exactly. Like, this is too much. You know what I mean? Like, this is this doesn't feel realistic. I've driven tractors and fields. This is not what that feels like. This feels like mud riding in your pickup truck is what this what this feels like. Having to back up and pull forward and do the old turn the wheel trick and all that. That's, yeah. I feel like there's a reason a lot of people waited uh, to buy this game that still don't have it. Or like mudding in a Civic. That's what it feels like. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. Because this... 
I mean, I don't know how many of you would agree with this, but this feels like they're trying to make it overly realistic, right? Oh, just because you're in a field on a tractor and pulling a cultivator, you're going to get stuck. That's not true. That is just simply not true. A cultivator of this size should have no problem being pulled by this tractor. And see, that, that row did fine. That row did perfectly fine. Now, what was the deal with the, the six before this? It's so weird. It might, but generally you try to go long ways down the field so you don't have to turn around as often. You spend more time turning around than you do actually cultivating at that point. So, look at this. Seriously? We get away from that loud engine for a minute. Oh, you can zoom in though. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Steering wheel down. Okay, so this is this is kind of cool. This is all right. I like the I like the the menu stuff they got going on here. That's pretty cool. All while we were sitting there spinning and not moving. That's sad. Oh, it probably would help the issue. Yeah, it, it may be something similar to Farmer's Dynasty, where east to west. Um, oh, it's doing the thing again. Hang on a second, guys. There we go. So, for some reason, when I if if I'm in the game too long and I'm using scroll mouse, it my it, for some reason my mouse will pick up like chat, and when I scroll forward, it'll scroll up in chat. For some reason, I don't know why it does that, but that's a totally separate issue. Um, so in Farmer's Dynasty now, when you're using the plow or the cultivator and you're plowing east to west, it tends to throw your tractor around a lot more than if you're going north to south. So it may be a similar issue. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. It feels like it could be a similar issue, so I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I'm not super impressed by this game that was supposed to blow Farming Simulator out of the water. So, sorry, Farm Sim modders, uh, not impressed in any way, shape, or form. Maybe I'd be better off putting this thing on the front of the tractor and driving backwards. Huh. <laughs> oh man, this is this is ridiculous, honestly. Like no wonder everybody just kind of dropped this game. It's this is this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Yeah, just completely unimpressed with, with what they've done here so far. I knew there was a reason I kept putting this off. Like, I might actually just go get a refund on this. This will be the first game I ever refund if I do. I think I might. I think I might, actually. Because this is just... This is awful. Like, I've... This I feel like I wasted money on. People talk about wasting money on Farmer's Dynasty. I don't think so. Like, I knew what I was buying with Farmer's Dynasty. Farmer's Dynasty. This, I... Uh, the, the, way it, the way it reads and the way it advertises, it's way better than this. This is terrible. You can't even cultivate a field. Maybe I'm supposed to be using a different tractor for this. Right? I don't know. I doubt it. I mean, this tractor's plenty big enough for this cultivator. It's actually... I mean, you could probably use a smaller one with it. It's 
slightly smaller. Not not like a classic John Deere or a Massey or anything. If you try to use, if you tried to use an old farm all, it probably wouldn't pull it, but I mean it might, I don't know. But this tractor's got more than enough power, it's four wheel drive. It should not be doing what it's doing. Alright. That's over. Drive to the farm. Thank you. Jeez. I like that you can zoom in and out right here. So I can zoom in a little bit to kind of make it feel like I'm where I need to be on the steering wheel here. So there are a lot of good features about the game that I do like. I like I like some of the menu stuff. I like being able to adjust the mirrors, all that kind of thing. Um, go to my house, okay. Toggle the run button. Look at him run. The running animation is actually not bad. Okay. Uh, sleep for eight hours. Oh, you do have to sleep. Okay. Uh, congratulations, mission complete. All right. Cool. Uh, cultivating gentleman. Plowing with the MB track. Uh. Let, let's try plowing with the track and see how much better it does. I just I just want to I just want to go try this out. I said sleep for eight hours. It was uh, that was like fourteen, but whatever. New mission available. Okay. Oh, I've already done that one. No, oh, already done that one too. Okay. So plow with the track. Let's grab the track real quick, and let's go start plowing this field. Uh, oh, that's right. You got to get in from the driver's side because there, you know there's two seats in this thing. Uh, I feel like you should be able to get in from either way. So this thing's got some meat to it. At least it sounds like it does anyway. the windows up this thing's loud where am I going I'm supposed to be going the other way a tree got collision it does not of course it doesn't hmm I think that red dot is some sort of marker I may have set earlier for myself by accident because I don't know what I'm doing Well, this thing right here will fly. Like, I'm actually at the point where I don't have control of this thing anymore. Alright, let's try out plowing. I want to see how good this works. Okay. It's probably going to do the same thing. It's going to make us drive the... Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Extrude the plow. Rotate the plow. Yeah, we want to start with it on that side for sure. Lower the plow. Okay. We'll want to get over slightly because the build actually starts on this far side here. Right there somewhere should be good. Let's come back and pull a headland probably. I'm not going to plow the whole field. Plow the first track. Okay, so I need to back up into that first. Now see, this is what it should feel like cultivating, but it didn't. 
And like I understand, I, I realize that there's realistic physics and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it seems like they tried to make it too realistic. You know what I mean? This thing's got some meat on its bones, though. So it did want me to pull the cultivator in that other tractor, or it would have told me to get in a different tractor. Rotate the plow. Plow field 15. Okay. Yeah, see, this isn't half bad right here. This is actually pulling really well. You know what I just realized? We're going north to south instead of east to west. I wonder. I wonder if it's something to do with the east to west coding. Because they're similar, right? The 3D ground texture stuff, I wonder if there's something there between the two companies. Is it possible? Probably not. Is it logical? Not really. Uh, is it doing the same thing? Yes. <laughs> That's all I know to say. I don't, I don't know. It does the same thing the other one does. Totally different company. Looks like a piece of one more row here, and we should complete this mission here. I mean, honestly, I, I know there's probably, like, free play after this. This is just kind of getting you going in the game. But with the way the cultivator is working and the way all this seems to be happening, I don't know that I even want to bother with it. Not right now. I mean, this thing's moving. Like this thing's got some, this thing's got some pulling power to it. This seems to do a lot better than the cultivator. I mean, maybe it could have just been that field. Maybe poor programming on that field. I don't know. Like, I don't know that much about coding and programming, so. Uh, and I didn't want to come in here and play this and complain about it the whole time, but it, it's just not...
Like even with negative reviews and stuff on on Steam, I still expected it to be better than this. Which this, like I said, again, the plowing section here, this is going great. This is just fine. I'm not expecting it to be done for me or right away or anything else, but oh, when you can't even cultivate a field, it's it's kind of. Oh, my chat wasn't loading that entire time, guys. I thought everybody was just being quiet. Yeah, my chat for YouTube did not load for the last, like, 10 minutes at least. So I've missed everything you guys have said. Put the AC on. Yeah, no kidding. Could have skipped a long time ago. I could have. But, I mean, I'm. this is my first time playing the game, so I kind of want to... I'm... I'm I'm really just trying to get a feel for what they've done, basically. So yeah, my chat just now loaded and like a hundred messages went through, so I missed pretty much everything. Uh, you just ordered the 5x7D sticker? Nice, thanks Granny Sam. Uh, I plan on getting that redone. I, I really meant to take that off the store, but thank you anyway. You'll have one of the originals, that's for sure. I'll leave them up. I'm gonna get another one put up too though. I'm gonna get my logo redone, so uh, I'm probably gonna do that today. Um, also, for everybody that's going to come over to Twitch with me later, uh, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch at 2 today instead of 1. So, my time on Twitch is wrong. I didn't change it. I'm going to start at 2 instead of 1. i got to run an errand before I get started. And uh, I figured I would grab some lunch while I'm out instead of at the house. So, Yeah, Lutz is just now loading for me. Was I, like, disconnected? Was the stream up the whole time? Because I don't even know. Like, Lutz just now loaded up and everything. Everything just reloaded for some reason. I don't have any drop frames, which is really strange. I guess it was just the YouTube chat froze or something. No idea. <laughs> The green flashing skip button, you can skip the missions. But I wanted I wanted to do it because I wanna you know I just kinda wanna get a feel for it or whatever. Loot's working okay. Oh, okay. It's working now for sure. But yeah, that was so weird. It's like chat stopped. And I was like, ah, I guess everybody got tired of talking about the game. <laughs> all of a sudden it pops up and it's worth a refund I agree with you Karain oh is it two hours I thought it was six hours well I guess I'm keeping it now because I bought it at uh, I bought it at 10 this morning and it's 12 now so I guess I'm keeping it So it may have been the tractor, it may have been the field, it may have been the cultivator implement, I'm not sure, but this, this setup right here is doing fantastic. So uh, this setup I'm fine with. This one's driving good. done drive to the farm okay
We're gonna have crap just sitting all over the farm by the time this is done because we're just it's pulling up and telling us to stop and drop and disconnect and everything else. What if we can move this tractor out of the way? Nope. <laughs> we show sure can't. Okay then. Uh, that one's done. XP received. Good deal. 250 XP received. Plowed 0.5 hectare field. Okay. Uh, does that mean? What does that mean? We, we're done with we're done with tutorials? Because I don't see another mission. Missions. Oh, okay. Uh, to strike a bargain, hammer maize seed. So, uh, the maize seed cooperative supplies us with the supplies us with the hammer corn king. Working with of six meters, we can till our fields with the high power. With high power, okay. So, oh, that thing's crazy looking. Cedar unit. And then the actual uh, Corn King 6000. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of want to go look at that before we take off. Hey, Wyatt, what's up, man? All right, let's jump in the class and let's get it to take us to the... Uh, uh, take us to the store. I'm probably not going to do the mission because I don't have time to, but... Uh, oh, apparently we're skipping, skipping time here again. Okay. The animals are hungry. Barn three didn't get enough feed today. Make sure it's trough sufficiently filled. Barn four, barn five. Okay, so all those are check marked. I guess that means it's uh go check on the animals, I guess. I don't I don't know. I didn't realize we I mean I how do we get in there? Hello? Check all my animals. Have to go around this side. Aha, there we go. Oh, look how nasty they are, man. Oh. I don't like the game. Uh, I hate it. <laughs> if you want my honest opinion, right now it's not worth buying. Um, I would wait and see what happens on full release. It's just my opinion. Can't get in on the pasture side. Is there a door even on the pasture side? Not on this one. Yeah, there is. There's a door on the pasture side. All right, let's get this guy to take us to the... Uh, oh, we're going to have to get him closer to the waypoint, I think. Yeah, this game isn't worth buying right now. Wait wait till it's... Uh, wait till it's full release. Oh, I don't want map. I want to drive. Drive me to the store, sir. All right, cool. Um, just a second, guys.
And we're still driving to the store. Okay, then. This is a long drive to the store from the house, I guess. Oh, see, that field's got water on it. That field's muddy, right? I would expect to get stuck in that field. That one over there, too. Actually, all of them are muddy. It must have rained. Oh, it did rain. It rained while we were fast-forwarding time, yeah. So I would expect to get stuck in those fields. That would make sense to me. But getting stuck in a field that is perfectly dry and slipping and sliding all over the place is not acceptable. It's just not. I mean... It's, it's just not. If it hadn't rained in weeks, then the dirt is dry. There's no way you're getting stuck in a field like that. Come on now. Not like the cultivator had me, you know. I want to see what this uh, this corn drill looks like before we go. Oh, coming into town. He slowed down. Watch your speed, son. Does anybody know where this map is based? Like, what town would this be based in, I guess? Oh, collisions. Uh, there is a football field. Football field. I'm guessing Europe somewhere. <laughs> That's all I can come up with, really. It's got to be Europe somewhere. I would think, anyway. All right, cool. Let's turn that guy off, and we'll drive on in ourselves. This really long drive we got to make here. Look at this rig. This thing couldn't pull that cultivator through a field. This does not make me feel good. Select fill type, we want uh, maze. Start. Okay. See, now I gotta know how far is the field from here? Field's not that far away. Now I have to know uh, how this thing is gonna pull this. And now I'm genuinely curious about it. Because I don't think it's gonna pull this any better than it pulled. It may be the tractor itself. May have been the field. I don't know. We're about to go find out for sure. Aha, Bob. There's no collision on the poles. You're not getting me today. God, that thing is so loud. And the low end tire roar. That, that. Right? I mean, I understand that it's making it realistic because you're driving on asphalt. But when you're driving on dirt, it doesn't sound like that. Dang it. Oh, we're supposed to turn back there. Oh, this is a field anyway. All right, good. Well, we're kind of here. We're just going to take a trip through the woods, I guess. You yeah, see, you shouldn't hear the tire roar on grass. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Okay, easy. Okay. Open it up. And probably get over just slightly. Just ever so slightly. I want to see how this thing pulls down the field. Lower. So the field, do we have to turn anything on? And now I can expect backing it up is, is not 
probably not functional because you're backing a drill through the ground so I'll say it's definitely pulling it better, straighter. It's not as hard to control. But again, we're almost going north to south on this field too. We're not going east to west. Raise the implement. Okay, so the field, 70%. Receive the field, rather. All right, now let's get past that first part and get back over into some of our own stuff here and see how it handles it. I am very curious to see. But we are barely moving. But see, this is the field I would expect to get stuck in. That is something I do like is kind of the 3D texture of the terrain there. Right, front wheels digging in the ground. Yeah, see, that looks cool. I like that. Um, what I don't like is that uh, the cultivator just did not work properly at all. <laughs> did not work at all. All right, so this seems to be pulling fine too. So maybe it was just that one field with that cultivator. I don't know. Something just did didn't agree with it. We can't get our money back on it now because it's been after two hours. So um, I guess we'll wait for a uh, for an update and we'll come back to this game. But that is all I have time for right now, guys. i got to run some errands and grab some lunch. I'll be over on Twitch at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that is in about an hour and 40 minutes or so. So uh, if you guys want to come hang out with me over there, you're more than welcome to. I'm not real sure what we're going to be doing. We may do some ATS today. We may not. I don't know. I think, I'm, I think I may do some ATS. I might do some more Farming Simulator because we're pretty close uh, to getting, getting a real good jump on Field 2. So probably going to do some more Farming Simulator, honestly probably gonna do that but uh yep yeah, i'll see you guys over on twitch uh at 2 p.m central standard time so an hour after what it lists as a start time right now i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this if you have enjoyed it leave a like uh if you haven't enjoyed it let me know why in the comments below did i complain too much hey, you don't like the game i'm not a big fan of the game myself <laughs> So I understand completely. But either way, that's going to do it for this, guys. I will see you tomorrow uh, on YouTube, or I will see you this afternoon on Twitch if you if you do watch Twitch with me. And if you don't, if you just watch YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow about the same time. Uh, we'll be doing something else. I'm not real sure what yet. Uh, we may try some more American Truck Simulator. And finish our runs up the East Coast in California. That's kind of what I'm thinking about anyway. Uh, but either way, guys, I will see you then. I'll see you on Twitch in just a little bit. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. See you in the next one. Later, everybody.